Finally tonight, our number one story, and the very serious, very unsettling part, the Fox News Channel played in the assassination of Dr. George Tiller, the horrifying realization that a television figure can be a facilitator for domestic terrorism. Our fifth story in the countdown, not the Taliban, not Hamas, not Al-Qaeda. If the brutal murder of Dr. George Tiller, the Wichita OBGYN, who among many other things provided abortions, does not qualify as an act of domestic terrorism, what does? Dr. Tiller having been gunned down in the vestibule of his church where he had been serving as an usher, his medical practice having been targeted many times before. In 1986, a bomb exploding on the roof of his clinic, he reopened. In 1993, Dr. Tiller shot in both arms by an anti-abortion activist. He returned to work. Abortion in this country legal for the past 36 years. This man accused of deciding which laws apply and which do not. Police arresting Scott Roeder in connection with Dr. Tiller's murder. And what were the kinds of things he and or those around him heard about Dr. Tiller from Fox News? Killing babies in America. That's the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. For $5,000, Tiller, the baby killer as some call him, will perform a late-term abortion for just about any reason. You're okay with some woman being depressed, executing her child hours before it's born. There's a lot of evidence there that he was performing illegal late-term abortions and covering up instances of child rape. You should be very disturbed by what continues to happen in Kansas. This man, Dr. George Tiller, known as Tiller the Baby Killer, is performing late-term abortions without defining the specific medical reasons why. Dr. George Tiller, who is uh, one of the few doctors in the United States who performs the Hitlerian procedure known as uh, a partial birth abortion. Right. Tiller has killed thousands, thousands of late-term fetuses without explanation. No question Dr. Tiller has blood on his hands. Tiller the baby killer out in Kansas, acquitted. Acquitted today of uh, murdering babies. There's got to be a special place in hell for this guy. For four years, on at least 28 occasions, that is what was said on Fox News Channel. Nazism, Al-Qaeda, Hitler, Mao Zedong, Stalin, baby killing, pedophilia, Tiller the baby killer. Again and again and again. And tonight, confronted with the inevitable result of instigation, the principal perpetrator at Fox News Channel made no acknowledgement of culpability, nor even regret. Anarchy and vigilantism will assure the collapse of any society. Once the rule of law breaks down, a country is finished. Thus, clear-thinking Americans should condemn the murder of late-term abortionist Tiller. Even though the man terminated thousands of pregnancies, what he did is within Kansas law. The accused killer, 51-year-old Scott Roeder, may have had ties to the Freeman Organization, a far-right group which rejects government authority. Now, when I heard about Tiller's murder, I knew pro-abortion zealots and Fox News haters would attempt to blame us for the crime, and that is exactly what has happened. Far-left Kansas City Star columnist Mike Hendricks wrote, quote, the murder accomplices include everyone who has ever called Tiller's late-term abortion clinic a murder mill, whoever called Tiller Tiller the killer. You wouldn't say to a national audience, Ms. Sanchez, that I have misreported this story, would you? Well, I would say that the type of verbal um, attacks that you're known for are conversation can you give me? Can you give me one example of those? Um, Tiller the killer? T no, it's Tiller, Tiller the killer is it's part Tiller the baby killer, which is what he is oh, known Tiller by. Oh, Tiller the baby killer. In oh, the, absolutely. He's yeah, known he's by known that by for it. certain groups. As you may know, some in the left-wing press are blaming me for inciting the murder of late-term abortionist Dr. George Tiller. A domestic terrorist shot the doctor dead, and zealots say my reporting on Tiller motivated the man, even though there's absolutely no evidence of that. The accusers object to my using the term Tiller the baby killer. I wanted George Tiller and Tiller the baby killer going, hey, oh, I can make yeah. more money okay. killing babies now. Tiller the baby killer, as some call him. Dr. George Tiller, known as Tiller the baby killer, Tiller the baby killer, which was the doctor's well-known nickname, which is in context because the state of Kansas has produced compelling evidence that Tiller sometimes terminated viable fetuses for trivial reasons, and the process was brutal. We're talking about a man who destroyed late-term fetuses, who could live out of the womb for casual reasons. I think it has been proven beyond a reasonable doubt in Dr. Killer's case that wasn't what he was doing. But, Miss Ireland, we appreciate you coming on. You call on. him Dr. Killer, and he was murdered. And, and I think that murdered. that is just yeah. outrageous. And so do I. And if I could get my hands on Tiller, well, uh, you know, can't be vigilantes. Can't do that. It's just a figure of speech. But despicable? Oh, my God. Uh, it doesn't get worse. Does it get worse? No. Go, go. Yeah.
You're wrong, first of all, and you're and to attack me and call me vile and the other names that you've called me on your website is unconscionable. But let me let me stick to this really? Tiller thing. Stop talking. You just said you haven't seen any evidence of that, okay? Here's a tape from Dr. Paul McHugh, head of the psychiatric school at Johns Hopkins University, madam. Roll it. You don't need to crusade like a vigilante against somebody oh, performing illegal medical procedure. I didn't crusade anything. Procedure. Everything and that's I reported is absolutely true. You don't He was running care. a legal You know facility. who has blood on her hands? You. You don't care that's about these babies. That's ridiculous, Bill. It isn't ridiculous. You're the zealot. You know, you're, you're, really, the you're zealot. a piece of work, no, my you're friend. The one who has I don't have blood on my hands. You're you the do. zealot. Who I wouldn't even consider for anything. I you wouldn't even consider that this man I'm a was pro-choice oh, Catholic who believes You're... in abortion reduction. Anything that he did really? was okay with you. Anything that Tiller did legal, was Bill. okay with you because of your it far was legal, left Bill. lunacy. You think he's a hero? I, you know what I do? I know. There I you go. Consider him a Thank hero. you. And look, Thank Bill, you. you crusaded against him. You, you crusaded bet. against him. He had been shot twice. And I'm already. sorry about His that. Clinic and if I could get my hands on Tiller, well, uh, you know, can't be vigilantes. Can't do that. I you are misguided. You have blood on your hands because you portray this man as a hero. routinely attack people on the left. Jane Ann Garofalo, Michael Moore, who you think their rhetoric leads to potentially to violence. It never has led to one act of violence. But you've already driven that crazy guy uh, in, in Knoxville last year who read your writings and then went and shot up a church and shot liberals. That's already happened once and you don't feel any responsibility at all now that it's happened a second time, Bill? Talk Ms. about Walsh, blood I, in your hands. I appreciate you coming on a program. I think everybody knows exactly where I, you're coming from. In February, it was revealed that last July, before he walked into a Unitarian church in Tennessee and opened fire during a children's play, Jim David Adkisson had written a note of explanation. This was a symbolic killing, he said. Who I wanted to kill was every Democrat in the Senate and the House, the 100 people in Bernard Goldberg's book. That 2005 book was called The 100 People Who Are Screwing Up America, and on the list was everybody from Al Gore to Anna Nicole Smith. Mr. Goldberg did not even offer as much as his regrets, never mind offer his resignation. His employer, Fox News, responded to reporting that placed the books of several of its hosts in Adkisson's home by sending one of the same producers who stalked the late Dr. Tiller to stalk the reporter who had had the nerve to link that network to the two people killed by Adkisson in Tennessee. So you didn't read the book? So you don't know if there was anything hateful in the book? So you never read his book? So why would you link a killer to Bill O'Reilly? Isn't that grossly unfair? Um, I, I feel a bit ambushed here. This was an outright deception by Newsday. You know how much it pains me to tell you this, Bill, but you have been magnificent on George Tiller to begin with and magnificent on, on his murder. Um, well, thank you. And I know I noticed there haven't been a lot of people talking about it. I'd, I'd like to think it's because they're hung over from the hooray George Tiller is dead party, but I think that's not it. This one random nut who shot Tiller, I don't really like to think of it as a murder. It was terminating no, Tiller he was in the 203rd trimester. But you can't... You can't diminish what that killer did or you have anarchy. I am personally opposed to shooting abortionists, but I don't want to impose mo my moral values on others. Okay. There's no words there. Fuck it. There's no, there's no words on it. Fuck it. We'll do it live. Fuck it. I've never seen that. Fucking thing sucks. There's no words there. I don't know.